Who would have thought that the Int Doken Fest Android 17 and 18 would have this amazing of a come up? When they first released on JP, they were actually super useless. And now with the 9th anniversary, they are like actually a very valuable unit. And lucky for Global, you guys got that discount, easy pulls for them. And you have Foresight, so you know you actually want to pull these guys, which is actually great. We're going to be revisiting them and their free-to-play team here. We're jumping into this IDBH stage because I need to complete one of the missions, so why not? Um, and, um, yeah, with the recent EZAs for UI Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, they actually have so easy of a time to activate their unit super attack as well as their, um, full passive for the four seeing super attack. It is actually so good for them to just be a floater unit. They support as well tremendously. And then not to mention, I mean, I'm assuming... UI Goku, MUI UI Goku, and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta will easy aim part 3. They're just going to have so many great buffs that, yeah, they're a no-brainer. They're literally a no-brainer. And you can actually even run them with Gamma 1 and 2. They have the Android Assault Link, which I think is more than enough for them. And the Gamma 1 and 2 actually support them as well. They might not support Gamma 1 and 2, but they don't really need it, I will say. Um... Yeah, it, it, I think it can be a pretty cool team for sure. And as you can see, like the free-to-play team is not looking too bad. Uh, all they're lacking is like a leader skill for the main thing. Like we're only running androids here. Um, I will say we don't have enough good Gokus to keep on the... Um, well, I guess we do. We do have the UI Goku as well, but I needed a leader slot. And I'm trying to do this World Tournament mission, so I needed three World Tournament units. Uh, but yeah, you can have a consistent Goku on the floater slot is which is probably the best play and um it doesn't look too bad does not look too bad maybe the damage output is not there but other than that i mean krillin is pretty solid goku is pretty solid and uh yeah android is just there <laughs> uh yeah so we're just gonna power through this so i can get this mission done and i wanted to just use them once again but i could definitely see like double gamma one and two maybe these guys floating would be pretty sick to see i guess the biggest issue is when it comes to if you're running a superheroes category is like do you really need them <laughs> because there's so many big contenders in the superheroes category that there's almost like no room left. And then we need like an eight unit slot now with all of these great ass units coming through. It's actually, it will be such a like, oh man, do I really need to put them in or not? And that goes the same for like Orange Piccolo as well with the Beast Gohan team. It's like, do you really need Orange Piccolo? Is he really needed at these points at this point? So yeah, it's just funny. Like it, it, it's funny, but also good. At the same time that this is what EZA should do. It should revitalize like categories that haven't been used. Universe Survival Saga. It should revitalize characters that need the buff. Which androids needed the buff. And they should be meta defining. Why can't free to play do the same thing? <laughs> Why do our EZAs for free to play have to be to make them sometimes not even useful in the current current event? I will say. But for me, though, I will say androids as a friend unit only is probably not, like, the best choice. They don't really output that much damage. For a me, I feel like damage comes first over defense, literally, these days. Because I just need the damage to get through these tough-ass stages. Especially those stages where there's, like, four phases. And they already hit, like, one million super attack. I can't be sacrificing that friend slot for a utility unit. Which is quite unfortunate. But luckily, we are only doing IDBH, so it is not a big deal. These guys get... E even this specific IDBH stage, it gets easier and easier as time goes by. So that is good. And I actually don't mind that Krilla Jackie Chan rotation. It's not invincible, but... It, Jackie Chan gets his full passive, because you have the Turtle School and he's, guard. he's got the DP Saga links. And then also, 
the Krillin supports him as well. So it can be kind of like a pseudo first slot unit in a way. We'll see what his defense stat is looking like. The Android's defense stat with the um, AGL Android 18, which hopefully EZAs somewhat soon. Maybe when the Android's EZA, they will become even more, they will EZA. That would be a nice timing. And so that this team will be revitalized once again in some um, unique way. But yeah, 3.5 million attacks, that is not cutting it there. <laughs> As you can see, the unit super attack is pretty nifty. I don't think we will be activating the active skill anytime soon. Big Goku, even with not many good links, 3.5 mil. We'll take that. The support is definitely carrying them. So in this case, Jackie Chan is a 250k de 282k defense with guarantee guard, which... Honestly, it's not that bad. It really isn't that bad. Uh, I would probably run this Tech Jackie Chan over the Int Jackie Chan in this case because I need sometimes that first slot unit if it is like a tough event. And then Krillin's pretty nice post super. And then he has his own seeking ability if like something goes wrong, I guess. And if you don't need Krillin, you have feet goku to put in the main slot as well who also have guarantee guard post super so it it really works it kind of works i just need now the androids to be you know hitting 10 million attacks that somehow <laughs> somehow some way that is the goal so it's just amazing what a few easy a's can do for a character For what I think was probably, in my opinion, like, maybe the second worst, maybe the worst 2023 Doken Fest unit. It's now being, like, top two, top five. <laughs> top two is too much? Probably too much. <laughs> maybe, like, top five, I would say. I'm not really thinking about what released in 2023. Probably not top five, let's be honest. Like, maybe top seven. I don't even know what is... I think Hercules is the last stage here. Actually, it gets pretty... It gets back to becoming quite difficult at the end here. Jackie Chan is activating three links. Pretty good. And then we'll do his Doken mode here. 4.5 million attacks that... The fact that Jackie Chan's technically hitting harder than the um, Android 17 and 18 does show, though, that they are definitely not built for damage. Actually, the most valuable unit on this team. Boom! 7.5 million damage. Take that. Then Krillin gets his KO. I think another person that could have that similar effect, maybe not to like the most extent is probably physical turless what happened did i get locked or sealed sealed okay um because he if once str turless easy is i think there's going to be such an amazing buff to him i think that one unit is going to change his team quite a lot especially if they do str turless to become like a god first slot unit because i think physical toes can still be very useful especially now with all the super enemies just a massive destroyer so i'm looking forward to what 2024 has to offer there's so many good easy a's like margin bruce saga is gonna get that come up um, who else? <laughs> I can't think of off the top of my head. <laughs> uh, but let's, um, finish things off here with Jackie Chan getting the final kill. There we go. So... That is the free-to-play tournament participants team. I hope you guys did enjoy. 
let me know what you guys are thinking about the Android 17 and 18. I mean, if you're on global, low key, I, 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 I would have summoned at least a bit just to get like maybe a dupe of them or maybe a copy of them. Just so you have an option as like a nice little support. Yeah, can't wait to see other people's gameplays of them on the broken superheroes category team. Thank you for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want early access to these YouTube videos as soon as I drop them and not having to wait, you can click the first link in my description to become a member or click on the join button. You can get videos as soon as I upload them as well as getting some other cool perks on this YouTube channel. But with that said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Until the next one, peace.